Now that we successfully installed Angular Material and we selected this blue theme during the installation process, let's switch this theme out with another pre-built Angular Material theme. Let's say a red color, for example, and we'll do that in this video. Angular Material has many different pre-built themes you can select from, and also you can select different types like CSS and also SCSS. And in this video, we'll be covering just CSS and we'll also be covering just pre-built themes, not custom themes. We'll be getting into custom themes in later videos. Also in later videos, we'll be covering SCSS and how to implement that using mix-ins and things like that in later videos. But in this video, we'll cover just CSS and we'll cover the pre-built themes on how to switch them out in a existing project. Now, why would you use CSS in the first place? Well, one, it's very quick setup. It's just a one-liner. And also, if you don't already have SCSS in your existing project, then you'll want to use CSS. In the last video, when we were installing Angular Material, this line was automatically added for us when we selected our theme. And I picked the first one, that was Azure Blue. But in this video, we're gonna change this to more of a red color. Now, if you're not sure which pre-built theme to pick, you can find that, that list within this folder within the packages that we installed in the last video. And you can find that within your node modules folder. And if we go inside the node modules and then just follow this address. So go to Angular and then material, and that is here. And then pre-built themes, and that is here. And here's the list of themes, pre-built Angular material themes you could use. And feel free to play around with these, find the color that you like. But I'm thinking of going with just a red rose color. So I'll change this. And this is the only change we'll need to make for using a pre-built theme. So it's called rose red. And then whenever you make a change to your Angular JSON file, you want to make sure you restart the application because most of the time you will not see the changes being applied. So I'll make sure to restart the application, shut it down and restart it. And let's view this in the browser. We currently don't have much going on yet within our application, but I could tell that we're implementing our different theme by looking at the buttons. We're using rose red now. And also to verify that you go to the official website and go up to the top right corner here and select the themes and select rose red. And you could tell that the buttons are matching up with what we have on our website. Now this is really good, but what if you want to create your own custom CSS theme? We'll look into that in the next video.